Hello, my name is Eric Van Lacken. Um, I'm with Dakota Timing, uh, and I do the timing here for South Dakota State and many other track meets around, around the region. And today, I'm gonna go through a few steps on setting up the finish links and high-tech equipment for both indoor and outdoor track and field. So I kind of got in my stuff here, and this is probably different from other timers, but I've tried to, um, I've combined all my timing equipment into these waterproof boxes, so easy setup, but also I, uh, it's easy for outdoor use too because you can put all your equipment in these boxes and it's waterproof and you seal it up afterwards and you should be ready to go. So as I go through this, I, can, I, will, I will go through a few steps on this as I set stuff up and how we connect it to the network and then we'll start bringing cameras up as, as we go through it. Switch that's inside my timing box and that connects all my cameras that will go up here into the switch. And then from the switch, I've got some network cables that I'm gonna plug into the network that we have set up here um, within the, the indoor track facility. And then what that does, that connects us into their, their network and then also gives us internet and then net, network connectivity from our timing stand, which is uh, up above the, the track. That's just connecting the power for our switch and everything, it's, and, the, and the cameras. So that gives us that. The next thing I'll be doing here is setting up the two finish links cameras that we have that will go on our stand, which we'll do our, with our timing on. And I will set those up as we go here and get them connected. I'm running two cameras today. So basically what I do here with that is one's our main one, one's our, our backup. And then I focus one on all the lanes and then the other one is focused on the inside lanes for our distance races. So what I do now is I do a little manual alignment before I start to do the, get them really dialed in. And that's all I do is just get it set so it's as close as I can to the finish line and then I'll come back in and do the other things as we go here. Next thing I'm doing is just gonna take network cables and power cords to the to the cameras. Okay, from that standpoint, then what I normally do is just kind of do some wire management. So all these wires are cleaned up. I just put everything right there. Everything runs right in the, right during the meet. So everything's right there. There's two things with that. It makes it easy to tear down and it also confines everything that I need into one spot. And then this here, this is my, uh, this is the start signal that goes with our remote start signal. Um, that's just the sensor. So when the starters, they carry a, they, they carry a tripod that goes with them that has a start sensor on it. So when they shoot the gun, that's how we get the, the start signal to start the time within the finish link system. And this here is just the receiver for that. Not everyone has this. It's an option through finish links. It's just uh, it's another backup for you and it's really easy for identifying in races to get results relatively quick, quickly. And this is the Identilinx camera here. Looks just like basically the camera you're shooting me with today, um, basically, but it's just a, it's a power over ethernet and um, it, it integrates right into the finish link software and 
um, records as stuff comes across. It's motion activated and it gets saved with the, the same file as you would when you're doing the regular finish links camera. What I normally try to do is get it good and high and then shoot, I have it shooting down. It seems like it's a lot easier to read in the finish links software. So what I'm doing now is just another network cable coming out of my switch. I'm gonna hook this into the network. This is power over ethernet, so it's powered by the, by the network cable. We start to get this as close as we can. And what I normally do is unplug that until I get the other cameras up, and then I come back and get that going once the other cameras are up and running. 